All right, here we go. So this is the video four of four. Um, my other three videos are dealing with the same subject of, let's see, the world global situation, uh, IMF, SDRs, which are standard drawing rights. I described in um, the Bretton Woods what that was, the Bretton Woods Agreement, you know, for the whole world to use the United States currency and everything to be traded in dollars. Okay, so now we're going to end. This is part four. So what we're going to do is look at this globally now, okay? And we've kind of been looking at things globally before, but here is where the rubber meets the road, as they say. There's good and bad with this. The good part. First, we'll go over the good stuff. Got to be positive, right? Because you're going to need some positive news because it's going to get real negative. So first, the happy, good stuff. Um, we're going off, well, depends on how you look at it. We're going off the dollar as the world's currency, okay? You can see that. And what's going to happen is as we go off the dollar, it's going to make all the other currencies kind of rise up while the dollar goes down, okay? So that's positive if you live all around the world. You'll be able to trade without having to have U.S. dollars. Like, you can go buy things. See, what, let me explain something, what Ripple does, the XRP does. The XRP is like a money exchange, okay? And I can send U.S. dollars to you, and let's say you live in China, but you want to get your Chinese currency, so then when you receive it, it'll be in Chinese currency. That's the beauty of XRP. No other crypto can do that as fast and as cheap. That's why Ripple is a bridge currency. The whole world will use Ripple's XRP to move money because it's the fastest, the cheapest, and the most interoperable. Okay? That means, just like I said, you could send, uh, I think Bahamas uses a sand dollar as their dollar. See, each nation, let me explain this. Each nation wants to use their own money, but they also don't want their own money to go down in value. How does that happen? When the dollar is the number one currency in the world. So since the Bretton Woods Agreement after World War II, <coughs> the Bretton Woods <coughs> Agreement would have the United States, well, maybe it was before World War II, but whatever it was, it was right around that time, it was decided that the U.S. would be backed by gold, the dollar, and that would be the world's official trading currency. So everybody wanted dollars. And everybody was poor because they didn't have them. We were rich in the 40s, 50s, 60s, all the way up to about 1970. We were rich, man. Like, we had money. The dollar was just worth so much. You can go to other countries, and your dollar is maybe worth two, three times, I mean, 20 times more, just... So, but that was the problem, okay? So let me read my notes here so we understand what's going on now because this is all going global. So the good news is for the rest of the world that their standard of living will rise. Uh, that's the good news. So U.S. Democratic leaders want $3 trillion from the IMF. Listen, the, the Democrats want to take a loan from the IMF, $3 trillion. This will drop the value of the U.S. dollar. To increase the standard of living around the world, the United States has to weaken our dollar. Now, as I said before, that's the Trifling Dilemma. As we do stuff to increase the value of the dollar, it drops the other countries in the world. It's value is money. As we do things to lower our dollar by creating more dollars and floating them around the whole world, their standards of living go up. The Democrat, uh, there's a representative, I listened to him on YouTube, I didn't get the exact quotation place, but his name is Hizinga, H-Y-Z-I-N-G-A, he's out of Michigan, uh, something like, I know he's out of Michigan, I don't know if he's a House of Representative or something, I, I doubt he's a Senator, 
but Hazinga reports a $3 million SDR loan package. SDR is a standard drawing right. It's a form of money you get from the IMF. So he's reporting this. He is shocked. And so are all Republicans. He says the Democrats are all voting on this loan of $3 trillion worth of SDR. He says we are going into debt for the world. Iran, the terrorist state, and Syria, we will be giving the, uh, will be giving the IMF to give countries around the world. So we will be getting these $3 trillion, and then we're going to start giving them to Syria, a, a terrorist country, Iran, a terrorist country. The Democrats didn't even care to put rules ordering China, which will probably give money to Syria and Iran and Russia, uh, to stop their human rights violations behavior. So the Democrats uh, don't care what people are doing. We're taking loans out and we're going to help other countries. Oh, wow. This Democrat from Michigan can't believe the Democrats will not put, and he's a Democrat, by the way. It's not a Republican saying this. This guy, Hazinga, believes that what the Democrat Party's doing is wrong financially. And they won't put rules on the money. So they're going to go give it to like Iran and Iraq, or whatever it is, these countries, and not tell them uh, what rules the, they can, how they can spend that money. Like, that's crazy. Okay? Oh, but that's Democrats for you. This giveaway should cause a new reset with a falling dollar. So this loan that they're going to get from the IMF will crush the dollar. Just saying, okay? A new currency will come out of this. That's the conspiracy part, all right? Maybe Ripple will become a new central bank. This Ripple and XRP will be used by the world. So here's how we're going to usher in, okay? We've got to crush the dollar, We've got to have a falling stock market or something. There, there's got to be this crisis, okay? Whatever it is, there's going to be this crisis. And the people in power, they've planned all this because they're planning it now. They're like purposely doing things to cause the plane to crash. Or right before it crashes, they say, oh, we have this emergency parachute thing we can do right now before we you know, bankrupt the U.S. or whatever it is. We can help the world out if we do this. And that'll be known as the Great Reset. And it'll be cryptocurrency usage. And it'll be a global uh, coin. And what's going to happen is it's going to be Ripple's XRP and the Stellar Foundation, okay? Their currency is going to be called the XLM. Those are the two <clears throat> that the world is going to want to use the most. Now, some may not want to. They don't have to. But all the trading will be done with, at least in the United States, with the XLM. But the world global currency will be Ripple's, the one I've been talking about this whole time. And it's not a lucky guess that, that I guessed. How much time I got here? Eight minutes. Okay, a minute and a half. It's just how it's going to be. So there you have it. So that's why you're seeing all these this debt creation and all that kind of stuff because they need to just crash the money of the world <clears throat> and usher in the Great Reset. They're going to be talking about it. It's going to be down in the history books and everything. I'm telling you. So that later it's not a surprise or it's not a shock. All right. It's like, man, that dude just told us what the future is going to be. Yeah. Everything's going to be digital, okay? These digital cryptos for everything, like VeChain and, you know, XDC and all these kind of things. Cryptos will be running the world, and um, that's just how it is. So time is up. Uh, that was the completion of the four-part series. So it becomes a global coin. That's where the IMF steps in, United Nations and all that. This whole world will be... Uh, able to be tracked. You'll be able to track money because crypto is trackable. So they'll know everything that we buy.